sport fishing party boats, they can get a little hectic. From half day to 16 day trips, I've done them all, learning the do's and don'ts. Today, I'm sharing the five laws of fishing etiquette so you can have a great trip and catch more fish. Let's go. I always find the fish, always. Welcome to the Hustle Channel, the best place for anglers, boaters, big game hunters worldwide. My name is Ralph Accor, and today my goal is to enlighten you all with the five laws of fishing etiquette. Of course, I broke them all, starting with number one. Thou shall not cast over thy neighbor's fishing line, especially if they're hooked up. I know what it's like. I've been there. Dude hooks up. You want to cast right where he's hooked up because you're under the impression the fish are they just happen to be where his line is hooked up at. Do yourself a favor, get a bait, and cast to the opposite side of the boat. Let's say the fish are boiling in the stern and you wanna cast. That's fine, but don't practice how to cast in that situation. Do your due diligence, practice casting on the bow, at home, at a lake. Regardless, a fresh bait gets bit Cast or no cast. Number two. Thou shalt follow thy bait. But you guys know this, right? I'm sure you never experienced a tangle with a uh, hundred plus yards of spectra gone to waste because you weren't following your bait. Just assuming that the fish was stopped and chilling and just waiting for a fish to eat him does not happen. If your bait's not running, guys, do yourself a favor, bring it back in. Or the only thing you're gonna catch is tangles and piss a lot of people off in the process. Number three. Thou shall have grace upon thy rookie. Especially if you consider yourself a seasoned angler who knows what he's doing. Little grace goes a long way. Now, somebody's messing up out there, taking grace for granted, well, that's another story. Kick his ass, sea bass! Well, what I'm saying is, there is guys, new, don't know what they're doing, and it's our job, it's the season, the season veteran's job to call it out politely. Hey, follow your bait, hey, Go cast in the bow. Hey, move to the left. If you find yourself getting in tangles, getting pissed off, yelling at guys, it's probably your guys' fault. You're not the seasoned fisherman and you're not as great as you think you are. Real quick, before we continue to the fourth and fifth law of fishing etiquette, I want to shout out last week's winner from episode three issues with Parker Boats. If you missed it, you could click right here and check it out. The tuna came in at a whopping 275, and the winner is Rod Lippy. You guessed it, 275 on the money. Now today's tuna, check it out. You guessed that bad boy, and I'll be sending you some fresh hustle and fish gear as well. Uh, leave your uh, guess in the comments. I'll find it, and then I'll find you. Number four. It is better for thou to give after thy catches and receives a couple of fish. My point is, help a brother out. You see a guy down on his luck, you got a hot stick. Uh, ask a guy, hey man, you wanna catch a fish? I would not be here today if someone didn't do that for me. I was on a fishing trip, long story short, I was there with the wrong tackle, just trying to catch a tuna, Robert Lopez, came up to me out of the blue, offered me a, his fishing pole, gave me a little bit of instruction. I was hooked up and my life has changed. And now the rookie is helping him catch, I think I helped him catch the last 10 biggest fish of his life. Number five. Thou shalt, oh I like this one. Thou shalt not judge another angler by thou bald head and 
and color of thy skin. I recall when I started getting serious, moving up to five to 10 to 15 day trips, I was young. You know, I started doing this just about 15, 20 years ago, guys. And I started being around, you know, older men, whites, blacks, Asians, and they weren't where I was from and vice versa. So I just figured I'd keep my distance. But luckily I had a good mentor like Robert Lopez, who was a little older, little wiser. And I just saw how he communicated, you know, he was tatted down, you know, he's a Mexican, he's from the neighborhood. You know, you might get the wrong impression if you judge a book by its cover. But, you know, by the middle of the trip, we had new friends, we had lawyers, doctors, you know, guys sharing their good whiskey and cigars. And to this and to this day, we've built amazing friendships. Hustle on fish, let's go. I always find the fish. Always.